hello youtube welcome to another video uh this particular one i had it i uh, was planning to have it released on the second which was the exact date of uh, the one year anniversary of the mahindra rock saw in the united states or worldwide so my story of uh, the mahindra rock saw began uh, last summer was driving in the next biggest town close to where I live and I saw this line of jeep like vehicles right right up on the frontage road uh, and it kind of intrigued me saw it the first time and then the second time and the third time I couldn't resist I stopped my vehicle jumped out to check out these vehicles see what they were from a distance it looked like they were made out of plastic and then with their roll uh, over protection system which is kind of geared towards you know uh bigger framed people it made the vehicle look kind of uh out of proportion it looked kind of toyish uh but when i approached the vehicle i realized it was all metal construction uh the components looking underneath they were beefy like really heavy duty kind of uh components and i did a little bit of research and i found out that this vehicle is um is uh has links to the original civilian jeeps the cjs and uh that this has been in continuous production in india for the past 70 years uh so i was intrigued and uh that just sold me uh the construction manual uh transmission diesel engine with a turbo and then the beefy, beefy, beefy construction, uh, the components that were used, as you can see here underneath, that sold me. And uh, I knew I had to get one of these. So within a month of first seeing the Rocksaw, I ended up purchasing one. So these are initial images from last summer when I saw the Rocksaw and I came back home and I would see it and look at the images and just dream of myself driving one of these or owning one of these. Um, these were the early production ones. Uh, back then, uh, there was an easy and popular <laughs> modification that people did. They would go to um, the speed sensor that it was housed somewhere underneath the vehicle, unplug it, and then they realized you could go beyond 45 miles per hour. Uh, that was the initial speed limit on the uh, about the what first 1450 or 1500 rockers uh they did not have that software upgrade so they were limited to 45 miles an hour and if you went underneath you unplug the speed sensor uh you could actually drive it beyond uh, 45 miles an hour but the downside to it was you could not register uh, your mileage so uh if you had your rockstar on a schedule for oil changes and other maintenance you lost track of that so uh this is how i saw the rocks or you know it was right there you had a bunch of them like that on the frontage road and there you could see different types uh i don't know if this is the particular one i got uh but it was there for a while and i ended up getting one i i believe that might be uh the exact one i got but at the time i didn't know that it was gonna be mine and that's the one winch that comes on the upgraded models if you look at one of my recent videos uh you see i couldn't crank it but the models that have the winch uh installed by the factory actually have an upgraded battery uh, you can see some detail there for the rollover protection system it's very very well built uh the rock saw as you know is heavier than the cj5 it weighs in at uh, uh 3035 pounds I believe the CJ5 was about 2,800 or so, or thereabouts. CJ5 came stock with a um, spare tire, spare tire kit. It came stock with, uh, I believe, a big uh, inline uh, six-cylinder engine. It also had, um, uh, what else? Well, doors. But the rock saw that looks, you know, very small. <laughs> it's actually longer than the CJ5. Uh, comes in way, way much heavier. Uh, and most of it is built because of the construction. So that's when I got mine, brought it home, tried flexing it, having fun with it. 
uh, driving around the neighborhood, uh, hooked it up to that Dutch uh, truck. That's a Dutch three quarter ton truck, and I was able to pull it. And then the cold weather came. So I brought it indoors, got myself some locking uh, hubs for the front. Uh, that's the part I took off uh, to install the hubs. That's inside the garage. It was already getting cold. That's the engine. Uh, instead of going with a traditional tune, I used a Dieseltronic tune. That's the box right there. It's just a piggyback tune. You just clip it on there and it gives unbelievable performance. I, I swear by that uh, tune and it's variable. So you just have a little fob like the fob for opening up your car. You click on it and you can change the tune. You want to give it to your kid. That way you can do that and he won't be hot rodding your rocks or i also got um uh that indicator uh, it's, it's can gauge i don't use it very much because my rocks are leaves outside i got the high lift jack i have it inside uh but i left the holders on the rocks or uh, the rollover protection system those bars they're two inches wide so if you go to your local tool shop you can get those rings if you look on my driver's side I have one that's just sitting there. I used it for testing what you would use for holding your exhaust. So um, that's just some pictures of the Rocksaw, cold weather. And that's, um, yeah. So as it got colder, I couldn't take it out very much as often as I wanted. But you notice I have the Spesnik, I believe that's what it's called. Um, Review mirrors. I got it from my local Honda dealer. I believe they had it on one of those Honda um, UTVs, the, the bigger ones, uh, the 1000cc one. And uh, it also has the same size rollover protection system, two inches. So it was a perfect match. Uh, that's when I took it to the capital of North Dakota, Bismarck, to Valley, uh, to Flema Racing, to have it dynoed. And you can see how much the rocks are weighs. Look at that uh, UT, uh, the SUV. See how much it, it had. It, it's way weighing down. So it's a very heavy uh, UTV. I wouldn't. I well, we call it here a UTV, but it's it's <laughs> it's a heavy vehicle, well constructed. So it's very heavy, and uh, when you drive it, it's like it's on rails. You know, so very sure footed. Ah, uh, that's a look at the engine bay. That's a 2019. Uh, they had a few changes. Uh, the steering wheel, you know, now you have that heritage uh, sticker on there. You have the turbo diesel sticker. Uh, they bumped the speed limit from 45 to 55. The, the dial gauge, it looks browner. It has that vintage look. It's not a uh, pure white like uh, the 2018s. And uh, those are the major ones you can see in there you have the red shock uh now they have another option i believe it's a bilstein uh so you can have a bilstein and that's a more recent picture of my uh, engine bay that's uh the computer the ecu because it's a uh, direct injection common rail diesel engine so it's easily controlled by uh an electronic uh, control unit I had to pull that trailer once and the rocks up pulled it like there was nothing behind. You know, I didn't load the trailer. There wasn't anything I had to pull, but uh, yeah, I was able to take it to where I had to take it to. And there's the rocks. Winter has just been going on forever. So <laughs> uh, for about the past month, I haven't been able to make many videos because uh, this uh, winter we had a polar vortex. I believe it's called an Arctic vortex. It's a huge band of cold air that came down uh, and that's the speed control uh, speed sensor that you disconnect now it's protected with a yellow uh, plastic material and uh, if you get it through that's that might void your warranty so that's the rocks are all covered up in snow uh, I saw this one in the mall in Bismarck so they had it in the mall and um, quite interesting people were stopping by looking at it and i also stopped by took a look at it and that's the rock saw it sat for quite a bit almost two months without moving and then it just got covered and you know buried in snow and i did a video when i cleaned it up that's after i did an initial cleaning uh, there was still quite a bit of snow inside 
and then the sun came and it got much better like you can see right here in this picture so uh that's uh the Roxo one year old thanks for watching and uh, listening to my Roxo story remember to subscribe thanks <laughs>